here we are at the base of the Nauvoo uh, mounds. Uh, this is the ramp that is directly in the backyard of the landowners uh, with about a six to eight foot drop off on each side. This ramp originally would have led almost down right to the Mississippi River, which is directly behind me, maybe 50 yards. The ramp leads up uh, to where you get the main climb of the hill. It's extremely steep on the right side, with Sycamore Creek on the right side of this hill and the Mississippi River parallel on the left side. There are some timber structure, as you can see here, that have been erected as kind of an interpretive aspect to the hill. What we're looking at here is um, Hopewell uh, Mounds. The uh, area here in Nauvoo has a history of, of mounds that uh, are up and down the Mississippi, but the, the mounds down on the flat in the town of Nauvoo itself that were there have been uh, archaeologically um, excavated and dated to the Hopewell time period, which is about 2,000 years ago. And these, it is assumed, are part of the same group. So I will walk around and give you a little bit of a tour of the area. So. This is straight to the top of the hill. We're gonna follow on this left side over here. We're going to follow um, this large berm and then this natural path that's in between this large um, earthen berm on the left side and then the natural contour of the hill on the right. These mounds on the top of the hill have all been archaeologically certified over the years by the state of Illinois and there are others that have been identified more recently um, that pass the uh, the tests of being part of the same mound complex but just have not been um, certified or recognized yet by the state. If you can see the built berm on this left side, the natural contour of the hill on the right, this extends for almost the entire length. Um, maybe half a mile. Of this ridge. Obviously, over the years, um, modern people and machinery have crossed paths with what would have been here in antiquity. And right here to our right is a modern road, access road to the top of the hill that runs basically along the top of the ridge. So as you come up that access road that we were just looking at, uh, you'll come to the first large uh, mound. This, this mound is 
has five distinct um, tops. The original design and purpose of this mound is still being um, debated among a few archaeologists and amateur archaeologists. Consensus has not been reached as of yet, but it's very large. I'll walk around the back side of it. The back side of this mound would line up with that same berm and trail that I pointed out earlier. My guess is this mound is 25 yards in length. Uh, and ranges anywhere from six to eight feet uh, in height from its base to the, the top. Height and depth is always difficult with photography and videography, but uh, in person it's a pretty large and impressive structure. And then right behind this mound, up the same access road, as a matter of fact, between the main road and this access road, there is the first of what would be considered a traditional Hopewell mound. It's directly in this thicket of trees with the berm and trail on the backside of where we are currently. Again, um, the size and scope of this are deceiving, but I would bet um, this is anywhere from six to ten feet in height. All right, here's the main road on the top of the ridge. Uh, the Nauvoo Mounds. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's well marked as an archaeological area, but it is open to the public to come on up. Um, so as you walk in, there are five large mounds on the right side of the road and two on the left. Here's the first of those five. There is the second. The third is hiding back there. Fourth and fifth are down the road. We'll get to them in a second. And then the largest of the traditional mounds is right there on the left. There's a large parking area here. Well, when I say large, you can probably get four vehicles in, but you can bring a couple of vehicles up and park here beside this mound. is directly above the Mississippi River. Um, if in a moment the camera will allow me to, we'll see if we can zoom in on the water. By this mound, um, there is a 
little map and description of the area as well as a register sign-in book there on the side. This mound, I would guess, is probably 20 yards in circumference and maybe six to eight feet um, in height from base, maybe a little bit more on the back side. And as I walk over here, we'll see if we can zoom in on any thing across the way. see the Mississippi below and the Iowa shore over on the other side. All right, so here we have hanging from this tree by the main mound, a um, uh, Native American um, symbol, as well as if I turn and move this direction, we'll see additional. And throughout the hill, um, there will be signs uh, of Native Americans who have been up here. Um, they view this area, this hill, as a sacred site. Uh, they come up and, and do some ceremonies here. I know they do. Um, there's a couple of structures that are kind of the frames of sweat lodges. And they... Uh, treat and would ask that everyone else in this area treat the area with reverence and respect. So that would have been the third or fourth um, mound on the right side. And then there are two more right up here in front of us. This site is located about two miles directly north of Nauvoo, Illinois following their main street and then the river road right up past Sycamore Creek and then you follow the dirt road uh, right past Sycamore Creek up into the under the top of the ridge mound on this side is right there. Again, it's hard to see the outline exactly, the size and scope of these mounds on the camera, but they're impressive in person. So what we're gonna do is walk back down the main uh, ridge and then peek over on the back side to where Sycamore Creek is, um, where there's a natural amphitheater and some other interesting um, structures. All right, so uh, across from the access road on the top of the ridge, um, above Sycamore Creek, there's this natural uh, amphitheater that sits here uh, off the side of what would have been um, the original structure that would have been on the top of this ridge. And the landowners have created kind of a, they've taken the snatch lamp theater and added uh, some seats and a speaking platform. So if there's any groups that are coming through and they need a, a spot for, you know, to hang out and have any instruction on what's going on up on the mountain or tour groups, this becomes a, a large cool area to come sit and, and the sound quality is pretty impressive right here. And I'll just keep walking down the hill to get down to the creek. I'm going to show you what's on the back side. 
This is the most accessible area. Most of the creek side is sheer um, drop off. Like you see in front of me. And down that way as well. So, uh, pretty harsh terrain um, if you're wandering through on your own there are signs that mark that it's not safe and not kept up trails but dang cool place to explore all right so at the very tip of this hill and again this is right above where that ramp would be uh, there's a bunch of cedar trees um, and then it's hard to again to catch the the depth and scope of what's uh, on the ground but multiple dozens or more um, smaller mounds that uh, are very interesting and again have have left multiple people uh, in discussion trying to find a consensus for what uh, this what would have occurred here what created this why and how um, but this brings us back to the Again, the beginning of this ridge structure. There's a sweat lodge. Um, there's lots of benches and seats that are up throughout the hill that the person can come up and just sit down if they so desire. And this will bring us right to the top of this ridge where Mississippi on the right, Sycamore Creek on the left, and then straight down through that opening to the ramp again. And we'll just walk off that direction. So, this is the Nauvoo Mounds uh, archeological area. If you have any questions, post them. I probably won't have the answer. But if you get up here on the hill and ask the landowners, they'll be more than happy to answer your question. Or you can Google Hopewell Mounds. You'll probably learn more than uh, I just shared with you. So there is the ramp front the landowner's property and house is at the end of the ramp there you go enjoy